Zubora against Vera is brought to you by Monster Energy. Look for Vera to keep the distance, land some leg kicks. After talking a little bit, he's going to stay on the outside, throw some leg kicks to the takedowns there. He'll take it. There he goes. Look for Zubora to step in big with some big punches, try and get the knockout. Oh, rocked him already. Top of the head, and it sent Zubora back to the cage big, wall. Big knees, knees to the, in the clinch. Three knees to the head. The crowd going absolutely crazy here in Manila. Is Brandon, this going to be a quick finish? Brandon's doing work right now. He needs to get back on that head kick again. Maybe set it up with a low and then go back up top. Sabora is hurt. He's grimacing despite that flying Quick. punch that he just tried. Ooh. Takes a big kick to the midriff. But he's still punching kick. back. Vera's still throwing those kicks there to the inside of the thigh. Brandon's just picking him apart right now. Sabora needs to actually back away. Sabora grimaces he's again. He's, he's, he's suffering pain somewhere. Nice short right hand from the Ukrainian. A solid ramrod jab from Vera. Brandon's got to keep those hands up, though. Igor's still dangerous. It's first round, it's still fresh. Brandon's pawing on the outside a little bit. But then probably go to the body, the inside of the leg again. You can tell he's getting ready to load the, throw that kick. Brandon needs to keep those hands up tight, though. Igor's recovered now. He's feeling fresh. Both men swinging. Both men just ducking under the punches. Heavyweights, he could finish any second. Big man can get that leg up really high. Right hand, right hand and a left as well from Sabora. Sabora's bleeding a little bit from the tip, the bridge of his nose. He was a little bit uncomfortable with something he's been boxing for a while now, and it could be the nose that's causing him trouble. Got a little bit of redness around the left eye as well. Brandon keeps switching stance, keeping Igor uh, thrown off a little bit. Sabora's still dangerous. He's coming with that big right. This is what he said he was going to do. Oh, kick to the midriff. And that kick just above the knee that could hyperextend it. Damaging kick, that is. Straight pushes the thigh back, locks the knee up. Good left hand from Igor. Sent Brandon back a pace. Looks for it again. Leaps in with it. Nice high guard from Brandon Vera. Left hand again from the Ukrainian. Oh, right hand, it was a good one. Brandon stepping in, throwing those short little choppy elbows. Stand, stand on the outside, really executing his game plan to a T right now. I talked to him the other day, he said this was exactly what he wanted to do. Brandon looking for the left hand downstairs. Let's clip by come Oh! oh. The fans here are going nuts. In the end, the finish in super quick style. Devastating punch. And in came the ground kicks. Igor Sabora is up on his feet and he looks okay. Brandon Vera goes over to reach for him on the shoulder, oh. shake his hand. And what he did is he waited for Igor to throw. Oh. What a straight left hand that was. And that was more than enough for Olivier Cost. Well, we're bound to be in Manila a couple of times or so, at least in 2015. What's the betting? Brandon Vera will be on most cards. And hopefully elsewhere in Asia. He likes a little dance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Olivier Kors calls a hold to this battle at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number one. For your winner, via knockout, Brandon Da Truth Vera! Brandon Vera immediately starts with some of those brutal leg kicks that he's known for.
come for and lands to the head. Paul Chang trying to answer. Paul Chang's got to make this fight dirty. He cannot stand there in front of Brandon Vera and let him do what he does best. <laughs> But that left hook did significant damage. That kick landed flush on the jaw. The follow-up barely needed. We have a heavyweight champion. And now the one heavyweight world champion, Brandon The Truth Vera. You can see that big height advantage that Vera has immediately. Yeah, that long reach is going to be a very difficult obstacle for Hideki, Hideki Sakine to try to get close to. But he is a judo black belt. He's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. He's got a wealth of grappling experience. So he's got to try to get in there and get one of those legs and drag this fight to the ground. So far, it's Sakine. Whoa. Just takes a battering leg to the head, but he continues to circle the perimeter of the cage as Vera stalks him. Those legs come with such heat and power. Now he goes downstairs, the outside of Sakine's right leg. Brandon Vera just stalking forward, looking for these shots. Sakine was almost there, he got close. I don't think Sakina has thrown a strike yet, but he's absorbed a couple of leg kicks. He can't take too many of those. Or it's gonna also limit his ability to shoot in and possibly grab that single leg. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Nobody here at cage side seriously thinks it's gonna go 25 minutes. He told me he wants to punch his way into a clinch and utilize some of those judo takedowns to get this fight to the ground. Right hand, knee to the head from Vera. Sakine grabs hold and tries to press Vera up against the cage. That's what he needs to do. He needs to pressure Vera, stay close to him, eliminate that striking ability, and utilize the takedown. Tries nice for the clinch. knee to the head again. Sakine's overhand right missed, and I think he's in a little bit of trouble. Dabs at his right eye. Goes for the single leg, misses it badly. Brandon Vera has an opportunity now, but he backs off. Not wanting to get down there. Right hand straight to Sakine's face, and I think his nose is in a bit of trouble, the Japanese fighter. And the crowd chanting Brandon Vera's name so loudly that I can barely hear myself speak. Brandon Vera must know that he has this, a huge advantage on the feet, and he's just waiting to pick his strikes. He's not being over to, too overly aggressive. He knows Sakine is dangerous, and he could clinch up tight and drag the fight to the ground. But Vera's very patient, he's waiting to pick his patient. shots. Yeah, he really is being very patient, Vera. He's not going to get too excited and jump into a nest of vipers. Yeah, his nose, like his nose definitely looks crooked. I think that shot Definitely from didn't look like that when he got in the cage. And that's a huge kick to the head. And that nose will be no better off as a result, I can assure you. Yeah, his nose is going the wrong way. Oh, a body shot, that hurt him. And he goes upstairs as well. And it's it's going to be a matter of time now. The knee to the head was just an obliterating move. Sakine grabbed for all his worth. Brandon Vera jumps on top, sends in repeated left hands. One heavyweight world champion, Brandon the Truth Vera! The time for talk is over. Michael Chevello, Mitch Chilson with you. That's Mauro Cirilli of Italy. Brandon Vera, defending champion of the Philippines. Vera at 113 kilos. Cirilli at 111 kilos. More beef than a cattle ranch in the cage at the moment. High kick early from Vera. There will be Vera's speed and precision against the raw power of the Italian hammer. And look out for the overhand right on Mauro Cirilli. Vera chops downstairs. 
Cyril wants to bridge the gap, get on the inside, and go for the champion's jaw. Cyril's trying to close that distance, having a hard time dealing with the range of Vera. But he's got to get on the inside. He can't see at the end of these kicks. Vera has the height. He's got the reach. Wants to keep the Italian at bay. Switches to Southpaw here. Look out for the high kick off the left leg here from Vera. It's a lead hook. Oh, swinging. Oh, he gets caught. That's good. Dive. Moving backwards. Looking for the notch. Bingo. Right on the button. With that fade away left hook. Look at this. Going back. Chin up to protect. Right on the chin. to circle here, the hammer from Italy. Overhand right there from Cirilli, that's his bread and butter. Overhand right again from the Italian. Puts everything he has into that right hand, you can see how he kind of leans forward when he throws it. That little bit of a tell might be what Ajahn Buller needs to duck underneath and put him on his back. Outside left kick, will it tilt there from Mauro Cirilli. Buller thought about the right hand counter, pulled it back though. Really looking through his brow, bumps up high. We talk about the hand power of Cirilli, but he has got a lot of power of his own. Don't worry about that. He's really being nice and patient here. He's not getting too excited. He's not rushing forward like he did with Brandon Vera, but he is consistently pressing forward, trying to cut the circle off and put Arjan Buller's back up against that cage. And Buller puts Cirilli's back on the floor. Cyril will have a 2010 Commonwealth Games gold medalist on top of him and a 2012 Olympian. Chat two there from Cyril. Looks for a low single there, does Arjan Bula. Tremendous This is what Buller wants. Buller wants nice and tight inside the clinch and stay away from those big hammer hands of Cyril. Circle away from the circle wall. Last time Bulo finished an opponent was in October 2016. He checked out Chris in Calgary. Like that overhand right, Buller's throwing. He's parrying the punches, then coming over top with that right hand. Nice jab, too. Cyril does have seven first round finishes. The fastest being a 15 second knockout of Carl Moore in March last year in London. And martial arts is a six-year-old in judo. So no slap to the ground himself, Sir. He does have three submissions, which is more than Buller, who's only got one sub. Muay Thai clinch from Mauro Cirilli. Jab right hand from Cirilli, backs Buller against the fence. Got punching knee there from Arjan Buller, clinches up with the Italian, they tango. Job from Arjan Buller to press Surly up against the circle wall. But Surly's doing a good job of circling out. He's circling to the non dominant side of Buller and landing nice little leg kicks. That leg kick's going to be important in this match. Buller on debut tonight for one championship. Maybe pro debut though back in November 2014, a third round TKO of Adam Santos. Who counts former WWE champion Jinder Mahal amongst his close friends? Overhand right from Cirilli to a left hook. Uppercut from Arjun Bull. Sleek seat back against the fence, turns Cirilli around nicely. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed right now so far with Cirilli's takedown. 
takedown defense. Only two real takedown attempts from Ajahn Kohler have been those two attempts at a single leg. And Cerulean's going to step back, be sure of that, and keep everything up on his feet. But Kohler's doing a good job utilizing that jab and also landing right hands of his own. Cerulean hoping to get back to that win in one championship. Had a great streak back in 2012, went 7 and 0, undefeated for three years. Short left hand on the inside, outside left kick there from Skrilli. Overhand right to Liz Halgan. Give me seven points. A gut punch and knee from Cerulli. Cerulli's mixing things up, he's just not throwing the hands. He's also adding knees and that leg kick. It's going to slow Buller down and also take away the explosion of that shot. So he's not going to be able to penetrate nice and deep on his shot. You're right, Mitch, the move that Cerulli tenderizes, that common perennial nerve above the lead knee. The more it's going to okay. affect the shooting in of Arjun Bull of the wrestler. Whipping left hand there from Cerulli. Into the first round, we go to the towels after one. Wherever you're watching in more than 140 countries, we hope you're enjoying one century live from the Rio Koko Koko Gikan in Tokyo. Download the One Super up now, play the One Fantasy game, the largest martial arts game in the world. And you can actually pick who you think will win tonight's contest. If you look at the results of fans on the One Fantasy game, 59% are saying Malro Cerulli for the win tonight. 46% are tipping Arjun Muller. Well, if the match was stopped right now, the fans might be right. I think Cerulli's controlling the distance. He's really found his range. He's not overcoming on the punches, and he's not allowing Buller to take him down, which is huge. He's got two successful defenses of that takedown. Let's see how his things progress. I'd like to see him keep going back to that leg kick, but Buller's just got to be a little bit more active. He's got to throw a little bit more volume. Don't forget to follow us across your social media Ready? platforms on Facebook, on Twitter, oh. on Instagram, at One Championship. Let us know where you're watching from around the world. Now it's really begins with a roundhouse kick, followed by our lead hand. Yeah. That low single leg is our jump They went for the leg tap and also came right back up with that right hand. See, Sir Cirilli backed up that leg, and then as soon as he did that, Arjun Buller came straight down the pipe with the right hand. Nice jab by Buller. Side punch there on the counter from Mauro Cirilli. Accidental, of course. <laughs> Arjun Buller signaling to the referee of the coast, and our medical crew will take a look at the Indian tie. As you said, Mitch, an impressive opening round for Mauro Cirilli. Grab a look here at the accidental eye poke, there it is. Yeah, you can see, it's really just kind of pawed his hand out there. He's just trying to parry the punch, keep a little bit of space and distance. And you can just see, uh, just sort of popped him in the eye right there. But uh, looks like Ajahn Kohler seems like he's okay. Olivia Koss gives Cerulli a final warning. The big meat Ready? jacks Ready? from Italy. Chalk. And young Rodo's hands in the right place. And tag Arjun Bula on the button. That took there from Arjun Bula. Overhand right. India, eye on the balls of his feet. Cannot allow himself to be pressed backwards by Cyrillic. Body shot, taking away to the liver off the left hand there, Bula. That took from Cirilli, Boitame, short right hand on the inside, trying to shave the beard of Bula. Gets in for a single to hold it now. Will Cirilli go down? Oh, mate, takes his vertical base, the Italian. Beautiful balance from Cirilli. As Bula was able to get nice and tight into that single leg, that seems to be his favorite takedown. He's going to the over again after the third time, but Cirilli's defended it three times. So his confidence has got to be building. Cuts off the circle. He's had more combinations than a Chinese dynamite has Mauro Cirilli. Buller's got to find a way to get him on his back. Then you'll see Buller go to town with his exquisite wrestling skills. And the stand up, it looks like Cirilli has the upper hand. He's just beaten him to the punch just a little bit. 
He's just kind of a little bit faster hands, a little bit better timing. He's also established his range. We're also seeing, as we're showing that, we're seeing that aggression from Cerrone. He's pushing forward. You can see how he's consistently always in the center of that circle, pushing Arjan Buller back. Buller's got the right hand, the Compton ready here. Doesn't throw it. Goes for the overhand left instead. To ask the question, which man is going to slow down first? These are two big fellas in the circle, both weighing over 110 kilograms. Whose gas tank will prevail? Stiff right hand there from Buller. Just barely missed with that, but I like that counter. It's really threw two punches, and Buller leaned back, came back with the right hand, just barely missed those. Good defense from Cirilli. Outshot leg kick Cirilli. Not a lot's coming through with the hands, though, for Cirilli. Especially now, Buller seems to have really good defense parrying the punches. That's why I like the leg kick of Cirilli. He needs to keep going back to it. Right hand from Buller. And again from Arjan Buller. A little bit of pepper behind those punches now. That two-punch combination got through. You see more volume coming from Buller. Nice Stiff jab again. Beautifully threaded through the guard of Cirilli. Buller's got fast hands. Back like that. I wouldn't mind actually to see the Cirilli fake that leg kick and go up top even to the body of Buller. Nice stay to the belly button there for our John Buller. Breaks off back to center circle. One minute 20 remains. Second round of three. Most people didn't think it would go this far. Yes, it would be a shock if we go the whole distance. I'm kind of surprised it's been a kickboxing match at this point. But the launch of crown yet, have a dragon? Not yet. And I think that a lot of that has to do with Cirilli. He's able to defend the takedowns. He looks good inside the clinch. He's always moving. But Buller's got good hands. He's thinking well, through. He's scoring a lot of punches. You can see the scorecard is Cirilli's face. He's scoring a lot of damage. One in three of our job Buller's wins have come by a knockout. Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Our job Buller comes forward. Tremendous crowd support behind him, both in Canada and in India. And been the centre of much media attention in Japan all week. Highly entertaining interview subject, Al Jambula. Hopefully pull cool the head down of Cirilli, who is. Some blood coming down his right cheek here. Good jab from Bulla. Quick to the jab is the Indian. He's scoring well and he's landing that jab. He's got a good punch combination and he's scoring over and over, and over again. Good knees there. The corner of Cirilli saying throw the knees off the left. In the little Italian I can understand. In the round we got the tap. You can see as Cirilli's exchanging, Buller is deflecting a lot of these punches. He's not really landing clean. But you can see that was a beautiful little uppercut, dirty boxing uppercut landed from Buller. He just grabs the back of the head, slides in that uppercut. That is classic AKA right there. They love to control that head, throw with that uppercut shot. You can see that's the scorecard that I'm paying attention to. That's the, look at Cerulli's face. Buller is touching him. That's superficial damage, ladies and gentlemen. And his, Aljan Buller looking pretty as ever. A lot of movement, a lot of good head movement coming from Buller. Uh, Cerulli's got to be a little bit more active this time. He's got to increase the volume and keep landing that leg kick. Can you believe it? Two titans, two massive heavyweights are in the third and final round. Somewhere they both said they would not be. But here they find themselves. Five minutes remaining as the circle door is bolted shut. Ready? Full damage under the right eye of Naoto City. Sold out inside the deal of the Kokuki Khan in Tokyo. One century. A nice jab landed by Ajahn Buller. Good movement as he's pushing forward. He's got good defense too. His, his head's never in the same spot. Constantly slipping and moving. I'm impressed with the boxing of Ajahn Buller. In the first round, I thought it was really that was going to take advantage of the kickboxing exchanges. But now, nah, Buller's doing good movement. That leg kicks the only thing's really scoring for Cerulli. 
Oh, what a fright to move into the palace on the hammer of scrimmage. Here comes the hammer. Is the hammer looking for a takedown? He's looking for it, but he might not find it. Big hello to all of our fans in India watching on Star Sports and Hot Star. I hope you're enjoying one century. Nice knee there on the inside from Cirilli. And the behemoth breaks off. Reset. Under four minutes remaining, uppercut. Prick to put the chin through the top of the head. Body shot from Cirilli. Drives the knuckles into the carcass. There's a right hand from Cirilli. Uppercut again from Archer Muller. Shaved him with that one. Now these two men have got to dig deep. Deep into the well of guts and intestinal fortitude and really test the gas tank.
that Buller was coming with. He never just kept throwing the straight punches. He was consistently going from all different angles to score heavily, and that uppercut was the one that we just saw over and over again, scoring, touching up Cerulli. Good effort. One billion strong is correct as Ajong Buller makes this possibly a successful debut here in the One Championship Circle. From your team, folks, in over 140 countries around the world, how do you score it? Do you have Mauro Cirilli or do you have Arjan Bula? Will it be an Italian victory or will it be an Indian victory? Let's go to Tom Lau and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Arjun.